Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. Saya Nur Zahira binti Sermani and I am Prishila Turiza, anak perempuan Loris Jared. Kami merupakan pelajar di DSH Institute of Technology. Today we are here, we will be interviewing our lecturer to get to know them better. So, jom saksikan. A very good evening and selamat sejahtera to Encik Safwan here today. So today we are having a session, uh, know about your lecturer. So since I've never met Encik Safwan before, so I think through this session, I'll get to know more about him. Uh, how are you doing during this pandemic, Encik Safwan? Oh, thank you. Thank you for asking. I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing great too. Okay, so uh, right. could you tell us about uh, your life background, sir? Alright, uh, basically, uh, as mentioned, my name is uh, Mohamad Safwan Mid Awang. Right. I'm a lecturer from uh, the Medical Imaging Department. And a little bit background about me, I'm graduated from uh, Medical Imaging okay. and also a Master's Degree in uh, Nuclear and Radiation uh, Safety from National University. And I've been working uh, about 15 years. Okay. Right, so um, I've been involved in uh, academic, industrial and uh, clinic. That's a little bit. I'm now currently attached with uh, Jamai. Institute of Technology, Dhamma Institute of Technology. Okay, alright. So, but then, what makes you to join in this education field? You could have stayed at a clinical, but then why Why do you choose education field? Okay, uh, actually, after being involved uh, with industrial or clinical, I think about five years, and then I decided mm -hmm. to join as an academician because for me, that is a way to give back to the new generation because I try to like uh, develop more people, try to contribute more in the that's why I choose academy is the best platform to find the new talent, new people, to give them a freedom, to give them a new chance to start a career. Mm -hmm. so, so, all right. So, you have told that uh, your position at DIT is being a lecturer for medical image, uh, for imaging, is it? Correct. Okay. So, sir, why do you choose imaging? You could have choose a medical assistant, environmental health. Why do you choose imaging? Okay. Uh, talking about that because um, medical discipline is complex because we know that we have sub specialty in the medical discipline itself. We have nursing, we have medical assistant, uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and many more. Alright? Mm -hmm. So why I choose medical imaging is a good question because I love uh, technology. I love something like the combination of the science between physics, and chemistry, biology, and then the anatomy and physiology itself. So I find it in the uh, medical imaging program. So that's why I choose medical imaging rather than other Okay, alright, that's good to know. So, you said you've been working for 15 years. So, what are the challenges that you face throughout being in this medical field? What are the challenges you could um, share us your good experience being in this field? Uh, as a clinician or as an um, academic? Uh, You're both, referring... it would be good if you say. Explain about the both. Okay, uh, uh, as a medical, I mean, as a medical personnel, a light health worker, uh, it doesn't matter in academy or in the field as a clinician, as a clinical people, you still have to challenge yourself with the new, uh, something unprecedented, like what's happening right now is a COVID-19, for example. Yeah. Because uh, you have to find out a new way to solve the problem. You have to work fast and then you keep up yourself with the technology, with the fastest uh, diagnostic system uh, to help the uh, treatment of the patient to speed up the process, to what to expedite uh, the treatment of the patient. So I think like that is one of the challenge uh, as a health or medical professional. Thank you, sir. So then, uh, can you explain your journey being a student? You have explained us okay. your journey in this. Okay, so what are your journey, uh, journey being a student? Okay. Um, yeah, I think same goes to like a new uh, generation right now. You also at the uh, same stage. I went through the same stage as a student uh, for like. Like, uh, many years uh, at bachelor level and then uh, you are to uh, master level the channel is still there student is always a student right we must have a positive attitude uh, then uh, sometimes uh, I consider it as a challenge because you cannot like uh, vomit out your opinion you cannot present it sometimes people will be like what we call uh, underestimate you as a student but then it's a challenge you have to prove them that you also capable to do things that cool to uh, academic or do that experience as a working adult so that is a challenge for me. okay alright thank you Yes, yes, all right. So, uh, can we know what are your hobbies and what will you do, do, do during your free time? Since it's COVID-19, you cannot explore, you cannot go out. But then, during the free time, what will you do? Okay, I love to wash my car if I have the time. You know why? <laughs> because I'm a uh, <laughs> Because I think it's a very good hobby. You know why? Because 
uh, you must. That is how a benefit for me. I, I save my money, and then I'm very, like uh, I love to wash my car. I, I want to see my car very clean and tidy. It's a perfect. Okay, so I'm consider myself as a perfectionist. That's why I love it. The passion. Okay. If I have free time, I will go down and then I just wash my car. That's all. Okay. <laughs> I never heard this before, but then it's nice to hear actually. So someone. <laughs> Okay, so you love um, to wash your car. Okay, that's your hobby. Uh, and so now um, I would like to ask you a few questions. I'll give you option. So you need to choose either this or that. For example, I'll give you you love to eat at Kerai Mama or you love to eat at Western Shop. So you can choose any of it. So I uh, will start with you love Mama food or at or Western food. I love Mama food. Okay, why? I love Mama food because it's spicy. It's obviously Mama is always prepare you with it spicy okay so love. you love spicy food is it yes okay. variety of spicy food not, not all but that's that's a beauty of mama food mama restaurant they will have like a many like a various type of food and okay. the spicy one I is that all right okay so sir now are you a socialized person do you like to expose yourself like chunto you take selfies posting in instagram or anything uh it depends sometimes um as a young people i don't until young then i thought i love to do it also so you prefer but then if i don't know or facebook 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 not for instagram apparently <laughs> not for instagram but why sir but then instagram will get out of feed many of them are active in instagram but why do you choose facebook because i think uh, facebook is more well it's not educational but it's something that i can get more knowledge from the facebook compared to the instagram instagram people love to show off their this is just for the beauty of cosmetics at all compared okay. to uh, compared to facebook you can write something uh, like twitter uh, mm-hmm. So okay, so you prefer TV shows or Netflix? Uh, I prefer TV shows. TV shows. Oh my goodness! But why? Why not Netflix? Netflix is a paid channel. I mean, like you have to spend your money for that part to TV program. Now we have my TV in Malaysia. It's a free channel. Why don't you go for that? I still have to look for Netflix because at the same time you still have your YouTube and the other platform. It's a free platform. Okay, alright, I got it. So, so you love online shopping or in store? You love purchasing from online. Online shopping. Or? Due to the current situation, I love online shopping. Before, mm. before the pandemic, I go for online shopping right now because it's convenient. Mm. Before, I think I love to go physically to the mall okay. and shop. I prefer that. Okay, so alright, so and um, we'll go to the next. So you love football or badminton? Uh, I go for badminton. <laughs> This is so I I really all the answers you are giving me like I I thought I could guess your answers but I really this is something new for me because you gave me like luar kota jawapan yang out of the box <laughs> okay it's nice actually okay, thank you sir okay now we at the last part of the session so is there any advice you wanted to give to the students out there because most of the student uh for what I know most of the student does know about this imaging they knows about pharmacies uh, medical assistance so how will you encourage students to go into this field imaging medical imaging okay because uh, this program is a bright and a promising uh, future with the technology mm-hmm. keep updating a new uh, technology keep coming in it's already knocking the door in fact it's already in mm-hmm. okay so i believe because of it there's a plenty of job is opening is there so uh, for the uh, those out there that looking for a job so this is the right platform the right program for you so medical imaging uh, will open you there's a lot of the opportunity thank you sir so thank you for spending your time with us i really love all your answers and thank you hopefully we can meet soon in our campus thank you mr safwan thank you very much thank you thanks to you <laughs> okay thank you Great time. Sir.